Why do you think he, like, never, um, during the negotiations, called you back? He kind of let you, you were kind of hanging there for a while, and then you had to, you had to give up and go, I guess, I guess this is Yeah, over. no, that, well, that's just, that's it, it, just it, nasty pool, you know, but I mean, I think that's. Because no one ever told you officially that it was over. Well, you know, it's just like if you go to audition for something, they never, they never call you up and tell you you didn't get the gig. You know, it's the same, like, you know, they, they were basically saying, fuck you, you know. Why, though? Why, what, why the do you one think? thing I don't understand is that. Because you want a little... People say, uh, why didn't Howard fight for you, blah, blah, blah. He didn't need to fight for me. You know, it's like the old thing of Frank Sinatra saved somebody's life the other day. What did he do? He, you know, he took his foot off his head and told him to stop hitting him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think it was money. I, I don't know whether he was gonna uncomfortable with his new wife. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the story was. I just know that for the entire time I was there, I was sitting two feet away from him and if you're a comic, there's a chemical, not, not chem, I, I hate to sound voodoo, but if you like being funny, there are people that you have their funny bone. And there's no other way to explain it. There's some people where I own them, not in a bad way, not in a negative way, but there's people I know from high school that like, I look at them, I got, they're laughing. They are, whether they trust me or whatever, and I could make him laugh at, at the drop of a hat. I just could. I, you know, it's not a power. It's just that mm -hmm. he liked me and I could make him laugh and he knew I was funny. And I sat two feet away from him for all those years. And he never had a bad time when I was sitting there. He had fun for 15 years. Now, it had to be Sophie's choice to say, well, let's get rid of him. It, it, I know it wasn't the money, but you're going to let go of the guy that made your mornings fun. He used to say, he wrote that in his books. Jackie makes my mornings fun. I made his mornings fun. And he's willing to give that up for what? Now, I don't think he had a Machiavellian scheme to clean things up. And I mean, he was always a great interviewer. You know, even when we wrote, we wrote a lot of the questions for him, but he didn't need them. You know, that people say, oh, when did he become such a great interviewer? He didn't become, he was always a great interviewer. And people, oh, when did we, blah, blah, blah. he was always smart. You know, he was the guy that got A's on his report card and hid it from his friends because he didn't want them to know how well he was. I'm not saying he did that, but no, it was the same with me because I did that too. You know, your friends are all getting D's and they're all fuck ups, and like you're like, how'd you do? Oh, yeah, I don't want to show my father my report card. You know, it's it's interesting. You say uh, a great interviewer. Why do you think he's trying to change his image to? I he wants know. everyone to focus on the fact that he's a great interviewer, and and he's almost like embarrassed of the past and the shock jock stuff. I think and that's I, you know I. I don't know. It's what's a little going. strange. No, it's it's it's. It, what's your thought on that? I think it reaps of some kind of horse shit. You know, I the thing somebody said, oh, he's going to burn all his old tapes. You know, maybe he's trying to get rid of any proof that I had anything to do with it. Opie, you know, you well, let's make it about me. It's my fucking doctor. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, I, you know what? I really don't know. That's you know, but nobody, you know. You don't lose where you came from. Yeah. You know, if anything, you should say, hey, I was a filthy piece of shit and I was mean and horrible. Look how much I've changed. Look, right. look what I am now, as opposed to all oh, that, you know. Yeah, we know, Jackie. And when we come back on the next episode, we'll finish up our series with the one and only Jackie the Jokeman Martwin.